This five minute video has been designed to support fellows and other continuing professional development CPD participants of the ANSCA and FBM CPD program navigate their online CPD portfolio for the new 2023 annual CPD program. There are a number of ways to access the online CPD portfolio. You can visit the ANSCA website and click on the quick links at the top of your page and locate down to the CPD online portfolio. Alternatively, you can go directly to the ANSCA and FPM CPD program pages underneath the education and training tab. This will then allow you to gain access to all of your vital CPD information, as well as directly access my CPD portfolio. The CPD portfolio also has its own dedicated cpd.anska.edu web page that you can save to your devices for quick and easy access. The CPD portfolio is accessible on all mobile devices and can be saved as a mobile responsive app for quick access. Your CPD portfolio dashboard will look like this, where you can view your annual cycle, your annual progress towards the 50 hours, as well as the requirements and the breakdown across the three categories of practice evaluation, knowledge and skills, and emergency response. The CPD portfolio has been bespoke designed to support all ANSCA and FPM CPD participants in meeting their annual requirements, including the 25 hours under practice and valuation, which is inclusive of one of your four activities, clinical audit, multi-source feedback, peer review or patient experience survey, and cultural safety, with a mixture of five hours under reviewing performance, and measuring outcomes, all leading towards that overall 25 hours. Your knowledge and skills is 12.5 hours per year, and you can make up the remaining 12.5 hours under either knowledge and skills or practice evaluation activities to reach your goal of 50. The emergency response category has one activity per year, of which the CPD portfolio will automatically populate your hours to the measuring outcomes component of the practice evaluation category for you. You will also find on the dashboard page, clearly identified milestones such as statement of participation, certificate of compliance, and writing your plan and evaluation. You also have a helpful quick links of resources, which can direct you to some of our other ANSCA and FPM helpful resources and sites. When logging into your CBD portfolio, the first element that you might find that you do is going through and completing your CPD plan. To complete your CPD plan, you click on the CPD plan tab. That will automatically direct you through to the plan site where you can respond by clicking the purple button edit to edit and respond to each of the listed questions. Once you have responded to each of the questions, you can then click save for your answers to be responded and the tick to appear on your milestone page. The same steps are then taken for your evaluation at the end of your CPD cycle, again by clicking on the purple button edit and responding to each of the listed questions. The CPD portfolio is also inbuilt with a number of support features to help you with navigating through the CPD portfolio as well as meeting your CPD requirements. When on your dashboard page, if you are needing any support, we highly recommend you click the support button, whereby you will find a number of resources as well as webinars and support documents and contact details relating to your either direct practice type where you are based, be it Australia or Aotearoa, New Zealand, as well as the relevant resources that may be available for you. As always, the ANSCA and FPM at CPD team are on hand on business hours from nine to five um, and accessible through cpd at ansca.edu.au.